Good day, everybody. So ngayon nandito ulit kami sa Fort Alabang with Ate Mikay and Ma'am JC. So Ma'am JC, pwede po ay magpakilala sa viewers and invite niyo na rin po sila sa inyong showroom. Yes. Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm JC Kupkupin, one of the group sales heads here in Fort Alabang. Do come to our showroom so that I can personally assist you. So yan, alam namin na alagang-alaga kayo ni Ma'am JC if ever na tatawag kayo sa kanya kaya na sa screen na may nang contact details ni Ma'am. And uh, ayan, nandito tayo ngayon para i-review tong nasa likod natin. And if ever na gusto nyo na makita to in meta, lalo na't bagong-bago to, just contact Ma'am JC. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Carview PH, and hit the notification bell para lagi kayo updated sa mga upcoming uploads natin. So Ma'am JC, pwede na po ba mag-start? Yes! Let's go! Yes. <laughs> often that car dealers releases a new vehicle in their lineup. This is true even for Ford Philippines. The last time that they released was from 2022 which was the Ford Territory and prior to that was the Ford EcoSport which was first introduced way back 2014. And for 2024, what we have here is the 5-seater four-door off-roader. This is the Ford Bronco Outer Banks 2.7 liter EcoBoost Automatic. And for this time, if Mustang is a horse and Raptor is a dinosaur, car, <laughs> according to Ford's 1963's internal document, this is actually described as the GOAT. Yes, the G-O-A-T. It is actually a shorthand for goes over all terrain. Opa, may pa abbreviation ng Ford. Pero, the name Bronco is actually a wild kicking horse in the western US. Kaya, kicking horse ang ating logo ng Bronco. So, yun ang backstory. Kung medyo nalilito kayo, Google mo na yan. <laughs> but then, going back, at first, it was actually a small off-roader, but as time goes by, it became a real contender to the popular off-roading vehicles like the Jeep and the Land Rover. And now we have here the sixth generation after the 25-year pause because the fifth generation actually ended in 1996. This is a really big comeback for the Ford Bronco, especially in this variant because of its latest technology and off-roading capability, surpassing even that of the Ranger Raptor. May magsusurpass pa pala sa favorite ni Ate Mela Sue. But then talaga naman na the Ford Philippines threw everything in this one to satisfy our off-roading fetish. Fetish! Uy! <laughs> Magpe-fetish tayo dyan, pero alam nyo na yon kung anong meaning nun. This one is available in one variant. This Ford Bronco 2.7 liter EcoBoost. V6 Outer Banks with Sasquatch package. And Outer Banks is a more premium variant of the Bronco. And the Sasquatch adds some hardcore off-road amenities. Hardcore talaga, di ba? And this one is a US spec Bronco because the Chinese made Bronco uses the less powered 2.3 liter engine. Pumapalakpak yung mga Chinese haters dyan. See, pumapalakpak ako. Sarap. But then, for our color options naman, we have the Eruption Green, Race Red, Cactus Gray, Oxford White, Azure Gray, and Shadow Black. So, buksan naman natin ang hood para makita what's under. And for the engine, we have 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 turbo gasoline engine with intercooler mated to a 10-speed automatic with a maximum power of 335 PS and 555 newton meter, which is capable enough to glide through the rough terrain. 
Aside from a special suspension, it has a 4x4 system that is called GOAT mode that matches automatically yung power, transmission, suspension, depending sa terrain. So very GOAT talaga, di ba? You remember the GOAT, yung mga nasa bundok. <coughs> so sarin na natin to and add ko lang din na kahit hindi siya hydraulic, magaan naman yung ano natin. So, of course, let's start sa ating front fascia. Overall look, alam nyo na, classic off-roader look. So, kamukha siya ng ating jeep, G-Wagon, and yung tank. So, yan yung mga kalinya niya dahil very classic at bilog ang ating mga lights. And for our lights, lahat to LED. Ang ating headlights, yan. Dalawang level, multi-reflector. This one serves as the DRL together with this and as turn signal lights. And this one, yan, that is actually the DRLs. But this line here actually serves as the turn signal lights as well. And meron tayo ditong amber light. So, hindi yan yung turn signal light natin. Uh, indication lang yan. So, sa US made, amber light. Sa China made is white. Yan. And ang ating fog lamps naman here, LED din of course, but then projector type siya. And ito, <clears throat> yan, black plastic adds up sa ating rugged look dahil nga classic to at off-roader. And nandito na rin ang ating four-eyed sensors. And ang ating ADA sensor, nandito rin siya. Yan. And ang ating grills, as you can see, ang ating classic grill is on a gloss black. And our Bronco na logo is in white. And ang ating namang front camera ay nandiyan din sa pagitan ng O and N. And we actually have here two extra tie-down hooks, which has the max load of 150 pounds. So, yan, ganyan siya oh. Kung may itatali kayo, tawagan nyo lang ako. Charat! <laughs> Viva Max! Joke lang! Damn! Punwari, naka-park lang kayo, ganyan. May itatali kayo, maybe surfboard or yung tent nyo, ganyan. So, pwedeng-pwede to. Dito sa harap, di ba? But we have here a much stronger, of course, na towing hook. Yan, dalawa yan. Visible yan siya dito. Kung mapapansin nyo, car bodies, hindi ganun talapad yung bumper natin, no? Dahil, as you can see, mataas ang ating approach angle. So, hindi ka mahirapan sa mga pataas. Ano ang ating skid plate? Ayan, meron dito. Plastic din. And as you can see, mas napapansin yung malaki nating gulong because of that. But then, dito, ayan, lapitan natin. Meron tayo ditong pull-type antenna. Ayan, ang cute, diba? Nandito sa right side, sa harapan, ng ating antenna. And as you can see, ang ating windshield, square, very classic off-roader look, di ba? And ang taas ng ating hood. Ayan, no? parang cute lang ako dito, di ba? Parang di ako matangkat, ganyan. Very good. Oh, ang taas niya, actually, talaga. Dito naman tayo ngayon sa ating side profile. And ayan, pansin na pansin ang ating over fenders dito na black plastic. Yan, di ba? Over, over fender. Pati na lang yung sandangkal na. And ang ating gulong, as you can see, malaking malaki siya. And even though na malaki siya, malaki pa rin yung space niya. Di ba? And for our wheels, ayan, ang size is 315 over 70 R17. And as you can see, oh, ganda ng quality ng ating gulong. Good year. Ang kapal talaga ng ating gulong, no? It's 35 inches. So, mud terrain talaga yung wheels natin. And it's actually paired with our black gloss painted na alloy rings with warm alloy na beauty rings. So, this is beauty rings only. And uh, papalitan natin to ng beadlock na ring kapag mag off road tayo dahil ang ating wheels ay bidlock capable um, ang usual na air pressure or PSI ng gulong is around 35 ganyan pag mag off road tayo usually ang PSI natin is around 10 lang so halos wala na siyang hangin ba and um, yung bidlock ring natin yung mag hold sa ating um, gulong and sa ating rim to keep it in place Kasi, di ba, uh, wala na siya halos hangin. Baka mag-slip yung ating uh, gulong. And that actually helps 
a lot sa traction, especially if mag off-road tayo dahil mas makapit siya sa mga bato-bato, ganyan. So, that is how it works, especially, di ba? Laki ng ating bulong. And that proves that this is really designed for off-road na mga activities natin. And um, this is actually twice the price of the normal na mugs natin. And this is actually included sa ating Sasquatch package. Ang ating suspension ay high performance off-road stability suspension o HOSS system with Bilstein Position sensitive shock absorbers. And we have here the side mirrors again in gloss black. This is power fold and power adjust. We have here the turn signal lights, the paddle lamps. Yan meron dito tayong paddle lamps. Sayang lang walang uh, parang sa mustang yung may kabayo na ano, shadow. Ganyan. And we have here as well the camera as part of the 360 camera. And we have the blind spot monitoring as well. And the yan ang ating outer banks na di ko alam sticker ba to or something kasi mukha siyang ref magnet but then yan yung ating branding ng ating outer banks. And dito naman sa ating door handle as you can see body color then this is smart entry. Yan ang ating door. This is detachable lahat to and frameless ang ating windows. Kulin natin ang key fob. Yan. This is our key fob. Ayan. We have the Bronco logo dyan in chrome. And ang functionality, lock, unlock, and we have the remote start. Uh, ilock muna natin. Lock. Nakalock na, di ba? Di ba? So, meron din siyang remote stop. Di ba? Perfect. Oh! Di mo kaya. O, oh, game. And our step board, and as you can see, wide na wide. This is aluminum with anti-skid na yan sa taas. So, hindi na slippery yan. And ang ating roofs in three portion, detachable yan. And pati itong part na to, nakikita mo na ang ating roll bar. So, lahat yan matatanggal from the inside. Tutor naman kayo ni Zara kung paano yan later. And doon na tayo sa likod. Let's see. So, let's start. Sa ating tail lights. So, yan, di ba? A rectangular ang ating tail lights. And, yan. Ang tail lights natin, naka-on, palibot. And turn signal lights natin. And yung nasa gitna, yan ang ating reverse lights. Yan lang. And, of course, ang ating third brake light. Ayan, nasa taas siya ng ating full-size na spare tire. Di ba? Laki-laki ng spare tire natin. Ayan ang ating defoggers. We have here the washer as well. Ay, washer. And ang ating wipers. Yan. And, dito ang ating Ford logo sa ilalim na ating door handle. Ayan, parang ref na naman siya, di ba? Very classic. And, we have four-eyed sensors din dito sa ating likuran. Nandito yan sa ating rear bumpers. And, ito ang ating sa plate natin. Meron tayong lights dito. And, meron din tayong towing hooks dito sa ating likuran. And, dito naman makikita natin ang ating Bronco logo, which is the kicking horse, ayan. So, in ano lang siya, silver, hindi siya naka-chrome. But then, good siya. So, buksan na natin. So, ayan, in half siya. And, gastrot na rin yan. And, ang atin namang glass ay pataas. Ayan, upwards. And, gastrot na rin siya. So, ayan, meron tayong apat na tie-down hooks dito. And, uh, nalilift tong Yan. Meron tayong compartment dyan. And nandito na rin yung ating mga tools na kasama dito. Yan. Yung mga jocks and all na yan. So, upuan natin to dahil mataas talaga. Para makita. <laughs> Napakataas ng ating bronco. Naka-amaze ako as a matangkad na person, di ba? Anyways, kung anong meron dito sa ating likuran, mostly nandito sa right side natin. Meron tayong lights dito. And meron tayong... 12 volt socket beside that and the yan meron tayo ditong subwoofer and meron tayong speakers dito sa ating roll bars and ang ating capacity dito sa likuran is 1033 liters so napakalaki diba napakalawa pwede pa nga ako dito matulog 
Anyways, let me mention to you the safety features. We had the six SRS airbags, the tire pressure monitor, stability control with advanced track anti-roll, front and rear parking sensors, hill start assist, and for the Ford Copilot 360, this includes the 360 camera, of course, adaptive cruise control, auto high beam, pre-collision warning with emergency braking, blind spot with rear cross traffic alert, lane keeping system, and evasive steering. So, talaga namang um, packed ng safety features ang ating 6th um, generation of Ford Bronco. No? So, talagang latest na yung nandito. And for our dimension, we have 4,811 by 2,190 by 1,854 millimeters. And for our wheelbase, we have 2,950 millimeters. And for our ground clearance, we have 292 millimeters. And we have 850 millimeters for our water wading. Did you know, car bodies, this has the highest ground clearance. So, medyo mahirap talagang tumaas dito, even me, na 5'7". So, yan. Very good. But then, isa rin na natin to. And let's go kay Zara for the interior. So, pagsasara nyo, dahil huli to, unahin natin siya. Ang windows natin. Yan. Then, ang ating ref. Charat. <laughs> Ayan na yung ilalim. Medyo mabigat siya, pero okay lang. So, Zara, take it away. Ati Mikay for the exterior. So na guys, sama niya naman ako sa interior. So first, dito tayo sa driver's seat door panel. So buksan lang natin tong pinto. And una talaga nating mapapansin here is this frameless na glass window natin. So napaka-aesthetic talaga ng kanyang itsura. And yun nga, para siyang sa sports car, diba? Kasi puro frameless yung mga nandun. And dito naman sa ating door panel is may makikita tayong dark blue tsaka black. So, combination sila. And meron na rin dito na leather. Pero yung pagka-leather niya is hindi ganun kalambot kagaya dito sa may armrest. And meron na rin pala tayo ditong door handle na aluminum. Tapos yung ating lock and unlock. Sa baba niya naman is meron tayong grab handle tsaka here is yung net type natin para sa compartment. Kung mapapansin nyo dito guys, wala na yung ating controls ng windows tsaka nung ating side mirrors and even the speakers gawa. Natatanggal tong ating pintuan, same as sa ibang competitors niya. So, alam nyo na kung ano yun. So, pasok na tayo sa loob. So, dahil may kataasan to, well, may heels na ako kaya mukha akong matangkad ngayon. Meron pa rin tayo ditong extra na grab handle para easy na lang umakyat. So, yung seats pala natin dito, guys, is naka-leather seat na. And two combination colors tayo dito, which are black and gray. So, makikita nyo naman sa camera na napakakapal talaga nito. So, good so goods talaga siya for off-roading. So, kagaya ng sabi ni Ate Mikay, well, nung pag-akit ko rin dito is nakita ko na may receipt tayo dito na made in USA talaga siya, guys. So, pure siya. And alam naman natin na pag US made, good quality talaga. Normally, kapag Ford yung kotse nyo and US made siya, madalas hindi makikita dito yung headlight dahil nandito siya sa left side. So, ang headlight pala natin dito guys is automatic na siya and dito sa gitna niya is yung para sa fog lights. Tapos sa right side niya naman is yung plus and minus para sa brightness ng instrument cluster. And ang galing kasi dito sa left side niya is doon nakikita yung ating electronic parking brake kasi normally di ba sa ibang kotse dito siya sa may right side sa center console. So guys, dito sa dashboard natin is meron tayong hard plastic na color dark blue. And dito naman sa baba is meron tayong gray color na parang metal na yung itsura niya. Tapos yung kulay black. Tapos may mga tornillo pa dito. So, napaka-manly and durable talaga siya tingnan. And yun nga, napakaganda. Tapos ang halo nung kanyang aircon vent. So, yan. Iba yung design niya dito. First time ko lang makakita. Tapos yung speakers pala natin dito, guys, is nasa ibabaw siya ng dashboard. So, we have 10 speakers powered by Bang and Olufsen or B&O. So, napaka-premium talaga ng brand na yun. So, yung steering wheel pala natin dito, guys, is naka-leather na siya. So, color black and dito naman sa accents natin is dark gray. So, dito sa left side natin controls, meron tayong adaptive cruise control tsaka yung lane keep assist natin. So, dito sa left side yung mga ADAS. Tapos, dito naman sa right side is yung ating mga voice command and yung mga controls para sa infotainment screen. Since yung ating headlight is matatagpuan dito sa ating lower left side, well, isa na lang yung stock natin here for the wipers and yung turning signal light niya. So, check naman natin guys kung tilt and telescopic ba siya. 
So, tiltan telescopic siya. So, adjust nyo lang siya kung ano yung preference nyo kapag mag-drive and kung saan kayo comfortable. So, I notice guys na yung ating logo here is kakaiba compared dun sa ating Mustang na Ford dahil yun is patakbo. Ito yung patadyak. So, pakinggan naman natin yung kabayo na patadyak kung anong tunog. So, ayan, napakalakas ng Bronco. So, bagay na bagay sa kotse niya. So, yung roof pala natin dito, guys, is may texture siya compared dun sa ibang na-review namin dahil meron pa siyang ganto So, for me, naisip ko na hindi agad siya metal dahil para iwas init na rin if ever na hindi nyo siya tatanggalin. And as you can see, guys, dito pa lang sa unahan, hanggang dun sa likod, is pwede nyo siyang tanggalin. So, removable yung roof natin here. Pero if ever na, mas prefer nyo na hindi nyo kayo mag-offroad, hindi nyo gagamitin, maganda pa rin yung design dito sa loob. Tapos yung ating visor here is naka-blackout na rin. And yon makapal, tapos malaki. And uh, pag binuksan naman natin to meron tayong dalawang ilaw para sa ating mirror. And ganun din sa ating passenger side. So, meron na rin pala tayo dito sa sunglass holder. So, dito naman is makikita natin yung mic. Tapos, yung ating map light here. So, buksan lang natin para mapakita ko sa inyo. So, as you can see, guys, we have here um, LED light. And dito naman, meron tayong auto-dimming rear view mirror. Dito pala sa dashboard natin, guys, meron tayong accessible na buttons. And, yun nga, pag pinipindot nyo sila, may rubber refill dito. So, dito sa pinakalas is meron tayong hazard, traction control, tapos meron tayong 3 differential lock. So, katabi ng traction control, guys, is meron tayo ditong 360. So, pwede siya mag-360 if ever na mag-offroad ka kagaya ng mga monster truck. Tapos, ito naman yung sa ating rear differential lock, tsaka yung sa ating front differential lock. Sa taas pala ng ating glove box, guys, is meron tayo ditong dark gray na parang metal and naka-engraved na Bronco logo. So, two air convents and yun nga, dahil wala tayong grab handle dito sa taas, magkabilaan, meron tayo ditong kasama pa rin na grab handle. Pero if ever naman na sanay kayo humawak sa ganito, is pwede pa rin naman siya, guys, kasi tinan nyo, matibay pa rin siya, gawa metal. Buksan lang natin guys yung glove box. So pag binuksan natin siya may hydraulic assist and tinan nyo naman napakaraming pwedeng ilagay dyan dahil malaki yung space. So yung sa seats pala natin guys is mali ako nang sabi kanina gawa for me black yung nakita ko. Pero ngayon sa passenger seat makikita ko na talaga ako na yung kulay. So combination siya ng grey tsaka ng dark blue. So same lang dito sa ating dashboard. So you can see pa rin naman guys na napaka durable niya ba? And dito naman sa ating armrest, meron tayong leather and yun nga, napakahaba. So as you can see, meron tayo ditong sa taas na compartment or storage area para if ever na gusto nyo yung makuha nyo agad and yung mga, for example, alcohol, pwede nyo dyan ilagay. Natatanggal din siya tapos tinan nyo napakalalim ng ating glove box dito sa loob. So meron tayo ditong 12 volt socket sa loob na isa. Dahil nga detachable yung mga pinto natin, dito natin malalocate yung controls ng side mirrors and ng windows. And if ever man tanggalin yung pinto, makokontrol mo pa rin yung side mirrors. And auto up and down na rin pala lahat ng windows. So here guys, meron tayong leather tapos meron tayong dark gray na accent. So meron tayong two cup holders here and extra grab handles. So if ever na mag-offroad tayo, pwede humawak dun yung passenger at saka dito. So, ito pala rotary dial natin here, guys, is yung 4x4 selector niya na tinatawag rin ng Ford na GOAT, which is go over any terrain. So, yung GOAT natin dito, guys, if ever man na saan kay dumaan, kung ano man yung lubak na yan, kayang-kaya niya gawa, di ba? Go over any terrain. Napaka-thoughtful ng ating Ford and ginawa talaga nila yung para sa Bronco. So, dito pala sa ating shift knob is meron tayong plus and minus. So, may kabayo na rin dito na silver accent, tapos yung gray accents natin dito, tsaka yung leather. So, napakaganda ng shift knob natin. Yayaman yung tingnan. So, meron pala tayo guys dito na nakascrewed na dog tag na nakalagay is Dearborn, Michigan. Gawa dun, inassemble tong bronco natin. Natin? <laughs> okay. Tapos dito naman is meron tayong wireless charging pad. And here, meron tayong two USB port which is Type A and Type C. So, dito sa taas, meron tayong dual zone aircon. And dito naman sa right side niya is yung heated steering wheel. Tapos, sa part na to, tsaka dito, is yung sa heated front seats natin. Then, meron na rin tayo dito yung fan para sa ating aircon. And dito sa taas, meron tayong rotary dial para sa ating infotainment. So, dito sa part na to, meron tayong parking sensor. Sa gitna is yung auto engine stop and start. And dun sa left side naman is meron tayong 
para sa camera. So, ngayon, buksan na natin yung infotainment. So, ayan, may kabayo rin siya dito, guys. So, ito pala, kung makikita nyo, napakalaki. So, ang inches pala nito is 12.3 inches. And powered na siya ng Ford Sync 4. And kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, guys, meron tayo ditong camera, tapos nandito yung button niya. So, ayan, 360 degrees camera. And may tinatawag na rin pala tong Ford Pass. So, ano ba yung Ford Pass? Well, pwede nyo na siya kontrolin through cell phone. And may kasama na rin siyang wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So, dito naman, meron na rin siyang offline navigation system. And dito naman is yung settings niya. So, dito pala yung driver assistance. Pag pinindot natin yan, yan yung mga ADAS niya. So, napakarami, di ba? Then, dito sa part na to is pwede kayo mag-customize kung ano yung gusto nyo na makita. Like, for example, yung fuel economy, pwede nyo lang siyang pindutin. Yung audio, mga differential lock natin dito, guys, pwede rin. Yung pitch and roll. Saan ba yun? So, ganito pala guys yung itsura ng ating instrument cluster. So, sa left side natin, meron pa rin tayong analog na speedometer. And yung size pala nito is 8 inches. So, even na maliit siya, kapag tinignan natin yung animation sa mga driver information, napaka-modern and ang ganda ng graphics. And ayan, nagdami niya. Pati yung mga differential lock, dami natin may kita. So, meron na rin tayo dito na kapag pinindot natin to guys, is makita natin yung mga main menu. So, marami rin siya dito. Tapos, yung kabayo din guys dito sa upper left is nandun pa rin siya. Kung ba yung patadya. So, that's all for the instrument cluster. So, ngayon guys, nasa second row na ako. And yung door panel naman natin here is same pa rin dun sa unahan. Wala lang tayo mga controls para sa lahat. And meron pa rin tayo dito maliit na net para sa ating compartment. So, yung headroom ko and knee room ko is napakaluwag pa rin naman. Pero kung makikita nyo to sa personal, yung second row is para siyang malapit na rin dito sa unahan. Pero for me, as a 5 flat person, malaki pa rin yung space dito sa likod. Kasya pa rin naman kahit tatlo. And yung seats pala natin dito are still leather. Tapos yung color niya is dark blue with gray accents. So, meron na rin tayo dito, guys, armrest. Tapos, may two cup holder. So, ang cute gawa niyan. Pero, still, magagamit pa rin siya. And, yun nga, hindi siya yung nalapat. So, gusto ko yung gantong armrest. Tapos, may headrest pa rin siya. Tat tatlong headrest. Hindi pala siya na re recline pero napo-fold siya gamit yung nandito sa part na to. So, magkabilaan. And, pag finold siya, is 60-40 flat folding seats. So, una ko napansin dito pag sakay is yung kabayong nata jack. And yan yung logo ng ating Bronco. So, dito sa likod ng center console natin, meron tayong 230 volts socket or di kaya yung 400 watts kaya niya max. Pwede dyan yung mga, if ever na may dalawang yung laptop, tapos gusto nyo isak-sak dyan kasi low, but pwede dyan. Tapos dito naman sa left side niya, meron tayong two types na USB port. So, type A and type C. Sa taas niya, nandito yung ating window switches para dito sa likod. And yan, nakalagay no step. So, bawal ka tumungtong dyan. Tapos, kagaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo guys, nakalmuta ko sabihin na napakataas yung tunnel kasi dun sa ilalim niya is meron tayong differential lock. So, for me, dito sa loob, as um, 5 million yung Bronco natin here, napawaw talaga ako ng Bronco ng Ford kasi ang ganda talaga guys, like infotainment, tapos yung graphics dun, tsaka yung animation sa instrument cluster. Hindi ko na-imagine na magugustuhan ko rin yung mga instrument cluster, pero yan, wow talaga. And yan, comfortable naman ako. So, yun lang naman. So, ngayon, balikan natin si Ate Mikay. That concludes our full review of the 2025 Ford Bronco Outer Banks with Sasquatch Package. So, if you lang ulit namin yung contact information ni Ma'am JC, if ever na interested kayo, contactin siya about dun sa Bronco. And dito sa likod namin, guys, is yung Ford Explorer. So, meron na rin kaming upload dito na review sa aming YouTube channel, Carview PH. So, i-browse nyo na lang dyan. Yes, and make sure na nakasubscribe ka na dito sa aming YouTube channel dahil medyo malapit na kayo mag ATA. Please do help us, car buddies to reach that. So, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well para lagi kang updated sa mga bago naming videos. And we hope you like our video. See you on our next videos! Bye! It's not often that dealerships... That car dealers, again. This is the Ford Bronco Outer Bank.
which was the first but <laughs> kasi pare pare si malinam for the last time na na wala na but then sa pangang pangiti magkakat magre reklamo na naman sila Hydraulic magaan naman siya compared sa ibang ganito. Ay, rolling na. Yun, di ba? And um, added doon ang ating suspension na di ko alam kung pangalan. Ano yun? <laughs> And <laughs> And kung napapansin nyo guys, wala dito sa mga sinabi ko yung Sabi ba yun? Wala na <laughs> and the love rin naman natin guys na isa na rin sa mami. Perfect kasi yan. <laughs> so guys, yung ating logo pala na. So everyone. <laughs> Wag mo yung lalagay. Okay, si Pai kita. <laughs> <laughs> so, dito. So, makikin naman natin kung ano yung ng corn ng broko. So, kung malakas ba siya or... Mga <laughs> bot! Ano ka ba? Alak ano ah? Ano na sa Michigan? Bakit sinabi ko? Hi, Chayan! So, guys, hindi siya nare-recline. So, everyone. Yan yung logo ng broncho natin here. Broncho? Broncho! <laughs>